Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your brother Omar, O-M-E-E-Z-Y. O -H -M -E -E -Z -Z I clap the syllables out every time some people can know how to spell the name. Uh, Kanye died in training. Listen, AMP affiliate, uh, let's keep it a buck, member, host, whatever you want to say. Hey, it's brother Omar, o -M -E -Z. And I'm here with another video, another banger. Consistency. C consistency, I'm telling you. Today's video, this is a part of my try series. I, I think this is gonna be a little special treat for you all. But before we get into that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you comment what you wanna see, what you think of this video. Share the video with people. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Don't forget to go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell. You know, listen, you, I don't even gotta, you know what? As you can see here, um, Oh, is that my birthday right there? Is that the 25th birthday? Let me go ahead and close that out. Let me close that out. Close that out. But um, this is a part of my try series, like I was saying before. And today we are trying polygamy. We are trying polygamous relationships. Listen, I've been preaching that polygamy is the way to go, especially for you young kids. Let's get into relationships with multiple people, man, two women, two women, one man. One man, two women, but no, hey, seriously, mix it up. Do a two man, one woman, you know, one man, one woman, one puppy. Like, do a bunch of different things. Can we say that on YouTube? Can I say that? I don't think I can say what I just said, but you should do a lot of different things. Mix it up, mix and match. Try to see all the combinations, uh, see all the people that you want. Learn to know yourself, explore your. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. But listen, I joined this group right here. I want a poly relationship. It's a private group on Facebook. Um, so I shouldn't be telling you all this stuff, but it is what it is. Uh, before you join this group, they ask you a couple different questions. Just some general stuff. Hey, why do you want to be there? Uh, what's all the, you know, what do you consider? A all that stuff is nonsense. I just want to show you what goes down in these Facebook groups where you can find a polygamous relationship. Cause that's, I know that's a question that a lot of people are gonna ask. Omar, how do I get into one of these? And this is the simple way. Like this is the way right here. You can try to go out and put the upside down pineapple thing. I don't even, that might not even be the right stuff. You can ask people, if you got a girlfriend right now, ask your girlfriend, hey, can we introduce somebody else into our relationship? She'll, she'll slap you, she'll slap you. But if you wanna get into a relationship like this, this is the way to go. So. This is me in the relationship. 46,000 members trying to get their freak on. What we have here is the about section of the group, uh, the different popular topics in the group, poly life. We spot if he, yeah, I don't know. Um, the recent media, we'll go through the recent media. The upcoming events. This is the one that is really intriguing. This is the one where you're gonna meet people in these groups. But let's go down the main feed of the group. So essentially you can post anything you want. It has to be approved through administrator or whatever, whatever. Um, but there's people that are single in Chicago. So, you know, people make it funny posts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes you have these deep conversations. Um, but I think what's the funniest thing is when people post, post their selfies and ask for different responses. Uh, or people pose these questions. So this is this is one of these things right here. Who's single and looking about to start a group chat? And we've got 234 people that have answered, um, and they all want to hop into it. So I should I should probably hop into one of these chats. Listen, I'm in a committed relationship. Monogamy, monogamy. When you get my age, monogamy is the key that unlocks the happiness of life. You see what I'm saying? But for you younger guys, this is, I'm just trying to show you guys how to get ingratiated into the fold. Looking for her and him, or maybe just him or her, then we'll find our baby, poly life. Um, that's a, that's a little bit of a wild thing to say. But let's see all the thirsty men, because this is what usually happens in these things. We get a bunch of people commenting. Look at all these comments right here. Um, they don't even know where each other lives. That's that's what's crazy to me. These people are doing all this and they're saying they don't even know where, each, where people live. Here's somebody. Okay, sexy. This is from Head, the pit, in, the pit of My Euphoria. 
these people, you know, Facebook names are dumb. Okay, sexy, what do you look for in a couple? Sasha says, uh, good communication skills, the king running the household, no disrespect to anyone in a situation, but I do not submit to females. It sounds like she might be the one though. She might be onto something. Really into Polly, not trying to just meet up and fuck. A mature couple that's building and don't mind another blessing to add. That's a key thing in the polygamy world. They, they consider themselves blessings to add. You see what I'm saying? I, I, think, I think I like that. Add a blessing. Why? 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 This, fellas, I know, I know this is probably going to appeal to the fellas more than anything. Fellas, send this to your girlfriends and, and see if they're down for the polygamy. How many men have had their faces rolled while getting head? These are the questions that they ask in these, these, these groups. I swear to you, I, I'm trying this out. I, I don't think I'll stay long because this is not the life for me. This is not what I want to live. But how many have had their faces rolled while getting head? Um, let's see if we can get some of the answers. A bunch of horny men that are just saying, me, somebody said, what did this person say? That's the, sh that's the shit, this is a two-seater. I don't. That's this shit, this is a two-seater, is a wild statement. Um, just a bunch of horny men. I don't understand why this is what they're going at. Like, that's, that's, this, this, that's gross, that's gross. Oh, what? this one right here is, this is from OG Purple Hey, showing us a 3D image of a sex toy, trying to see what woman would try this at a party. What kind of freak are you? Do you think you're Harry Houdini? Why are you trying to put a woman in this, this, this trap box thing? I, you know what, I'm, I'm not judging, but this is, this, this right here is a little bit, of a weird. Um, somebody says, in the bedroom, not the party though. Why, what's the point? <laughs> Bruh, a party? That's a box of AIDS, hell no. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. This is disturbing. This picture, right, this gift, I don't know. Facebook has different gifts than any other platform. This gif of them rubbing the flower, that's the, that's, that's, look at that, that's disturbing. I actually need to scroll off. Why do women think they always make men orgasm? You know what's funny about the other thing that I've discovered in these posts as I've been scrolling through them for research purposes only is that there's these people that will post their pictures or whatever. Mainly guys. Anybody from this group from in the Indianapolis area or close to it, let me know. And they'll get zero answers, zero replies or anything like that. But if I find one with a woman, I'm gonna go through the recent media in a second. When you find one with a woman, they will surely have 86 answers. Men are horny. And as far as I know from it being in this group for about six months, for research purposes, I've been here for six months for research purposes. Are you sure about that? Is that um, men definitely want threesomes. These women claim, they want poly relationships. I just, it's the craziest thing in the world. Oh, this one's a relevant post. Let, let's, let's read this one. Um, Michael Montgomery says, he's 19, she's 44, they just got married, what are your thoughts? It sounds like some Brittany Rainier and PJ Washington type stuff, but I just thought. So let's, let's go into the recent media, let's see who some of these members of the group are. Let's see who some of these members of the group are. Oh, okay. Oh, with your Star Wars apron on, I don't. No! I'm, I'm about to get to what you've all been waiting for though. We we don't want to we don't want anything to do with just a regular poly relationship or whatever, you know. Oh, here are the rules of this, here are the rules of the, the group, by the way. Do not judge anyone in the group. No hate speech or bullying. No promotions or spam. They got they got this guy in here that's really trying to scam people and respect everyone's pro Let's get off this, let's get off this, let's get off. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. We want to see where we can go to physically meet up with some of these people. Let's see what these events are. Sex on the Beach lingerie album release party. This is tomorrow at 9 p.m. at I Am A Furl in Miami. Nude Beach meet and greet plus after party. Um, single men $100. That's the thing, this is so... That's so crazy. If you're a man, you have to pay to get into these parties. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I don't, that's, that's the craziest. That's, 
Uh, put that back. Let me put that back. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's see if we can purchase a ticket. I don't know. Let's just say one ticket. Let's like see what happens if we were to purchase a ticket. Yeah, let's just, let's just see. Let's just see what would happen if we hurt. Yeah, let's just see what would happen if we purchased a ticket. Let's create a post in this group and, you know, maybe on the part two. Looking for some ATL fun. Looking for, no, I want to put, not for fun. For, looking for two queens in Atlanta who are ready to accept a king. Yeah. What? Yeah, I like that. Must be black. Because even though these are research purpose, they have to be black. Will in entertain a man. Nah, bro, that's still gay. No, you're gay. You're he's gay. Perfect. And we will trade picks. Go ahead. I'm posting that. That's that's instantly going up. Oh wow, they didn't even review it. It automatically went up. Okay, that's fine. That's perfect. Whatever. I just wanted to let you guys know. Hey, listen. There's nothing wrong with a polygamy relationship at all. I just, are they for me? No, I'm too old for this. Monogamy is the way to go. I'm not gonna lie to you. But if you were trying to get into one of these relationships, go to Facebook, start a profile. I want a poly relationship. There's 46,000 people. Um, just make sure that you keep it private. Like make sure that you keep the room private as fuck. If you go to poly life, they are looking for, uh, um, let's, yeah, let's keep scrolling. Some of these people, I mean, they're looking for love. They do not, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is getting a little wild. That's what I'm saying. They're looking for love. Doesn't this look like love right here? Doesn't this look like compassion? Doesn't it look like they care for each other? That's what these people are looking for. So if you're not coming into this group and trying to get love out of it, do not waste our time. Period. Period. Hey, this is Omar. That was Omar tries. If we get the response, I I'll let you guys know. Cause that's that. This is. I'm looking for something like this, so I can wash my back. But until then, I'll go hang out with my girlfriend, who I love. I love monogamy. Hey, again, this is for research purposes only. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the comment. Look at the description. We always got great things in there. Catch me on the Let's Keep It a Bug podcast. Um, and until next time, peace. I don't know what else to say.